And as a result of that battle, Ferris did get that next job level up for Chemist, uh, which would give the ability Recover, which pretty much is an Asuna spell on everybody for no MP, which is a very nice skill to have. Unfortunately, I probably won't be using that very often. So Ferris is back on Red Mage, pretty much going to be a physical attacker. Uh, Krill, as a result, is back on High Mage with the Healing Staff, of course, and Earth, uh, the Earth ability brought forward. So I think we are ready to move on once more. Still haven't encountered that other fight here. Pretty sure there's just the two. Do need to heal again, though. I will take that, and I will exit stage left. Or I could get into a fight right on the fucking air. With those guys out of the way, let's move on and head for the last temple. I'm not even going to bother with the numbers anymore. Uh, fourth, third, something like that. In order to get to this temple, what you need to do is head, let's see, about halfway between those, which is probably right around here, and then head a little bit east, and we can drop down right around here. Hopefully this is close to where it is. I Hey, there it is. Here we go. That is our next destination. This place can be a little bit difficult to find. Uh, just north of Crescent and south of that peninsula that you saw me going over. This is our destination. So let's go ahead and head inside the Great Sea Trench. The Mariana's Trench? I don't know. But there are gargoyles in the way that we must defeat. We must be in the right place. In a place deeper than the ocean floor, protected by flame, lies the third lithograph. As soon as we exited the battle, this happened, so... You, you, you didn't miss much except the book coming out of us yet again. So let's go ahead and head inside. Already on the second floor. Things are going well. That is lava. We really couldn't do this without more lava, could we? I think here I'm going to head south. Do we have new enemies here, though? I bet we do. We definitely do. We have unknown enemies here. Uh, now, I, because of my setup, I probably won't have that much of a difficulty with them. Hopefully. Jeez. They should die. Don't... Don't prove me wrong, game. They did not die. Let's try to take out the first unknown. Still not dead. Earth, go! Wind Slash for the win! I actually did a lot of damage. Thank you. Something died. These guys are actually weak to Holy Elemental, uh, which is what I pretty much implied when I said that the harp was going to be useful. Uh, this is what I was talking about. Things like this. These ugly ass things at the bottom of the ocean. Mug em. Stole a tonic. I'll take a tonic, you know, it's better than nothing. Better than missing. And possess. And off goes Ferris. Hooray. 1,563 guild, 1,260 experience, and four ability points for that. Of course, none of which went to Ferris. But, looks like we got an item out of that as well. We get a power drink. And if I head down here, we can get into yet another fight against more unknowns. The ugly ass unknowns? Yes it is. And in this treasure chest here, we can get a water skill. Very nice. We can throw that at enemies later. Maybe. With barks. New enemies? Please be new enemies. No, of course not. So let's continue on and head down here to a save point, which I don't think I need to use just yet. We're still very early on in the dungeon, of course. So let's head over here and press the switch. And we'll try to continue on until we get into a fight. Something new. We do have something new. It's called an unknown. Uh, oh, no. I shot I'll, I wanted the tonic, but you're not going to give it to me, ever, are you, game? And of course, the ones in the back, I don't know what the hell any of these are. I don't know if they're supposed to be volcanic. I don't, I just don't know. 
I don't know. Uh, maybe tapeworms? And of course, you take away my main damage dealer. Why wouldn't you take my main damage dealer? Can I get him back? No, it just reflects. And it's the person that I would have hit anyway. And then you just team up and, and try to take on all who remain. Thank you for that game. Alright, mug this guy down here. Critical should be enough for the victory. It is not. So, let's try to finish him just with normal attacks. Or Earth. We could go for Earth. Stalactite on the one in the back. Not enough for the victory either. This is why I want Bart's back, damn it. <laughs> Reverse Polar. Oh, just move her to the back row. That's not too bad. I can deal with that. Still not dead. Now it's going for Slimer, which is going to ruin my day. Let's try to go for Earth and try to finish these guys off. Now we'll go for the front row. will o wisp Did not confuse. Too bad. Of course, Slimer is going to slow her down. Oh, great. Now, now two people have have the sap ability or the poison however you want to phrase it their uh, their hp is constantly going down will o wisp is not what i was looking for damn it you know better than this grill we've talked about which ones are effective before i don't think that stacks can we kill the first unknown down he goes now we can actually deal with the new ones huh? wind slash thank you do some decent amount of damage. We got one of them. Hopefully, Rena can take care of the other. Couldn't steal, though. And that is still not enough. That's not that bad. Still does a little bit of damage. Go, Earth. Wind Slash again. Thank you. Down it goes. Down it goes. You get 2,091 gil, 1610 experience, and 4 ability points for that fight. One away. One away from Reyna getting that job level up. I am keeping track because I do want to change that. Uh, so let's continue on. We don't want to hit that switch just yet. We'll just bypass it. I don't think there's any new enemies here. No. As a result of that battle, Reyna did get the next job level for Samurai. So, we're going to switch over to Bard, simply because everything here is weak to Holy. And then I did bring Mug forward, just in case. And, uh, oh, for level 4 on Samurai, you can move Equip Katana forward, but I'm not really interested in that. Uh, we can't equip the Thief Knife, but I'm going to switch that over to the, the Harp that we just got. And here it is called the, the Apollo Harp, so it is definitely implied that it is Apollo's Harp. Um, I don't know what was going on with Apollon. That was kind of weird. So we are ready to move on again. I know I said I probably wouldn't be bringing Bard forward, uh, bringing Bard back at all, but I forgot about this area entirely. I forgot how useful they are here. Um, this was like usually the only place where I used them. We need to hit this switch here. There are many switches. That is the only one I want to hit, though. And that creates a path up here, which can take me to a fire ring, which is definitely something that I want. Or I could just get into a fight. Anything new? No, same unknowns. So now let's continue on. What I did do is I changed Krill's ability to Anti-Trap, which is a Geomancer ability because she's already mastered Geomancer. So I don't get in any damage when I touch the lava. It's kind of nice. Kind of nice. No new? No new. I don't think there are any more new ones, actually. They're all called unknown, so it's kind of hard to keep track. We need to head up here, though, and we can get a Dragon Fang out of that chest. Very nice. Let's continue on. We need to head down these stairs here, deeper into the dungeon. Basement number six, very nice. Uh, we need to take the down path here, the downward path, because there is a treasure chest there. I believe starting on this floor, there are new unknowns. So let's see what we can do against them. This will also give me a chance to show off how much damage Requiem does, which is always always vital to something like this. Are you ready? Ha! 
How ridiculous is that? <laughs> Just absolutely ridiculous how much damage that does. You'll die in 30 seconds. Hooray. Can I heal her of that? Probably not, but I'm gonna try. Oh, and of course, now the damage starts. Did you... You're an absolute dick. You know that game? You know that? Okay, go for S-Shot across the board. And hopefully the next Requiem will finish the job here. I don't think they will die, but you never know. You never know. Requiem, please. On top of this, the Apollo Harp does over 5,000 damage, but it only does that to a single person, so I'm not that big of a fan of it. Are you kidding me? Everybody's just gonna die? Is that the way that this is gonna go? Just everybody dies? We will defeat you before then. Oh, great. Slip. On two of my party members. Three of my party members. Hooray. Go a shot. Save me once again. This is ridiculous, these guys. Alright, we got one, so the next Requiem should do it here. Go, Requiem. Save me from this battle. Down they go. And for that battle, you get 1,584 gil, 1,500 experience, and 6 ability points, and we have learned Condemned because I cast it on Ferris. And Ferris is still learning. Ferris is always learning. Should probably heal eventually, but that can be taken care of later. What we need to do is grab the ether out of that treasure chest, and I believe we can just head straight up through. So let's just head up these stairs and down these stairs. Lots of stairs. In and out of lava. But we can get a phoenix down out of that chest, and now we need to head over here and out of this room where we can find another save point and we do find dwarves how you doing dwarves tally ho only five of us but we make a fine dwarf kingdom tally tally ho i don't know much about the magic lamp just dip it in the white waters up there and they will revitalize the lamp tally Tally boy is digging a tunnel tally. He said it would it word reach the other side of the world. He said it would reach the other side of the world. Sure, that's what he said. That is completely what he said. What do we have over here? We do have an armor shop. Believe it or not. Just a shop right in the middle here. I don't think we need anything. I think we're all set in all these all these items for now. I should probably sell some, but I've been saying that for some time. Now I believe if I like head from up here, there's like a trick to this. Now, this is still armor. There's a reason why he's standing in the middle and has to move. Do I, I think it's up and down and then left and right? Yeah, there we go. Here is the weapon shop. Uh, pretty much the same things that we saw before. Earth hammer, mace, uh, magic bow, and itchy munji. None of which I am particularly interested in now. However, I am interested in using that save point. So, I'm going to go ahead and use it. <laughs> 